Hello, hello. Welcome to today's digital devotion. So people often talk about faith as if it's something that we possess or can own, mm -hmm. that I am a person of faith or I have faith. Mm -hmm. But faith isn't something that we can put into a box or pack away or put in storage or have in our possession, put it in our pocket, anything like that. Faith is something daily that we do that rather than being just a noun, it is an action that we have to live out our faith. It's something we try to do here at Claremont UCC as best as we can, put our faith into action. So it's a verb in that way, in that our faith changes the way we live, it changes the way we act, it changes the ways in which we invest in our community and in the world. Yeah. And, and as a result, I think faith is also a conscious choice that we have to get up each day and mm -hmm. each moment even and choose faith that um, despite what is going on in my life that would make me hopeless I'm going to choose faith today mm -hmm. or in a moment where I could be angry in a moment where I could be just negative in a moment where I could take out my frustration on someone else. I have to choose faith mm -hmm. that somehow I can get through this situation in a way that positively impacts the world because I'm choosing to live out my faith in this moment. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not just a daily thing. It is an encounter by encounter, second by second, hour by hour. Um, and I think that we could get kind of run down by that or hopeless and to say like oh in this moment i just don't have enough faith like, but that making it a possession again mm -hmm. whether we have it enough or not i think we should forget about that and just mm -hmm. say um i am choosing faith i'm living out faith and sometimes we won't get it right but that's okay the next moment we can choose it again yeah that's yeah and i think a lot of it is remembering that our faith is a living thing mm -hmm. so it's not something that we declare once and say you know I'm a believer, I believe in God, therefore, you know, I said it and my life can be whatever because oh my gosh, I, yeah. identifying as such. Yeah, um, we've seen how much that gets the world in our country oh, into yeah, trouble. Just, yeah. I'm a Christian as if that means as something. That's the end of it. Like yeah. I've said it, I've labeled myself and therefore I'm done, my work is done. I, um, you know, one of the reasons we use the, the terms creator, redeemer, and sustainer rather than father, son, and Holy Spirit is because I'm really attracted to the idea of referring to God's three personhoods by what God does in each of those roles. God creates, God sustains, and God redeems. Mm -hmm. And I really like um, reminding myself and the congregation of that whenever I get a chance by using those terms, because not only does it remind us that God is actively doing those things in all of those ways, um, it also reminds me that by just labeling God, you know, a father, a son, and a Holy Spirit, it, it kind of makes God sedentary. Whereas reminding myself that God is active, God is doing wow, these things currently that. and has done them throughout history as evidenced in our scripture readings. Um, to me, that is sort of an activation each time we say that together in church that God is still active doing these things. And so God also is making choices every day to create, redeem, mm -hmm. and sustain us. Wow. And I, I really like that idea that faith is a daily choice. It's a moment by moment choice to be lived out, not just to state on paper or whatever, wear a t-shirt, put the bumper sticker on your car. Like it's a choice on how we respond to one another, how we talk to one another, how we behave um, in all areas of our life. And you know, we're all works in progress. It's not like um, by saying you're have a person of faith that you get it right every time, that you make the right choice every time. But I think it's an ongoing journey for each of us on how to not only um, believe the things we say we believe in, but then have our actions reflect those beliefs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. And so may we choose faith together as a community to, to live that out each and every time we gather and the days in between. So we will see you this coming we'll Sunday. We'll see you on Sunday.